young, the young women I've seen in engineering are, are bright and exciting. And the most exciting thing about my job now is that I am working on projects that are being made now. It's always both challenging and exciting, mostly because you're working on things that will have an impact and products that real people will be using. Everything is just so new and fresh and everybody seems so excited about what they're doing and it makes you want to be excited about what you're doing. I feel like what I have to do is important and that if I wasn't there, not everything would get done and that other people are counting on me. I think technology is cool. <laughs> it was amazing going out for the first time and being able to walk around the ship and identify certain things that I had helped add to the ship. And when I was in high school, I actually took a couple of engineering courses over the summer at a nearby university. And while it was primarily focused on civil engineering, I found it to be just fascinating, very interesting, challenging. Women are still seriously underrepresented in engineering, and I think it's important that our perspective is included. So I think girls should go into it. They're very clever, they're very clever with the math and details. And we're missing out by not having a lot more women in it. Even as a young child, I had a tendency to uh, take things apart and try to figure out how they worked and attempt to put them back together. So I was encouraged by my family from a young age to go into engineering. Um, I was always really interested in how things worked and also how um, being able to see like the tangible results of my work. And he said to me one day, he said, what are you going to do when you leave school? That was like six months before I'm leaving school. I said, well, I think I'm, I'm good at math. I think I'll be an architect like you. He was an architect. And he said to me, oh, you'll get bored stiff with straight lines. You should be a naval architect. You like ships. And I thought, wow, absolutely. I didn't know you had naval architects. You mean I can be with ships all my life? Yeah. I would say some of the biggest challenges of what I'm doing now is just keeping up with the evolving pace of ship design. Uh, I did go out to sea for a couple years and I found that to be a little challenging being a woman um, only because um, there's only a few of you so in the day to day just working with guys you know it could be different. So one of my goals um, working in FC is I want to be involved in a ship design of something that's actually built. I would like to help uh, engineer things that will make an impact. What I want to get out of my profession is to, uh, is to be able to bring in the next generation of engineers. And I hope that someday uh, I'll be able to see a ship in the fleet and know that I played a part in its design. I, I was told when I first went out there that this is, like, this is a career goal for somebody to work on a project and actually see it built and complete. I guess if I had to give advice to, to a younger person, particularly a female, I'd say don't ever, don't ever let anyone tell you what your quote unquote aptitudes are. Um, I know when you go through high school, they sort of categorize you and tell you, you know, you're good at math, you're not good at math, you're good at English, you're not. I think that if you have a dream and you're interested in something, then you know, you'll be able to do well. I think they've got to stick up for themselves and they don't. They can't because uh, it'll be frowned on. Advice that I would pass on to young professionals would be take advantage of any opportunities you get to spend time in the field, especially in shipyards or uh, aboard ships. You can come from whatever background. You can, it doesn't matter what gender you are. If you want to do something and, and you have the the uh, commitment and the dedication, then you can. In science, technology, math, I mean, we literally rule the world. Engineers do. We design the stuff, fix it, and then we, you know, offer improvements for it. So it's a very rewarding um, career.